ASB says that they still have a lot of work to do before they could even begin to assign blame. Miami-Dade's top prosecutor says her office is focused on helping the appropriate agencies figure out the cause and that prevent and preventing it from ever happening again, but that criminal charges are improbable. As the finger pointing begins as to who is responsible for the tragedy and why, Miami Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle says her office will be stepping in, but in a support role. We are really a background, we're not forefront, we're not going to be the ones making the determination as to the cause of the collapse. We want to be there for the families, we want to be there for our community, we want to be there for law enforcement. She says prosecutors will only likely be involved on a criminal level after the investigation has concluded and if someone is found negligent. In the criminal arena, it's a very narrow scope. It's, you know, what was the cause of death and what was the manner? And so we won't know that until NTSB tells us what caused that collapse, which resulted in these deaths. Um, the only cases there, they're very challenging, they're super complex, they're very difficult to fit into a criminal container, if you like. The criminal law is very confined and very restricted and very high bar, so the challenges are immense. The pedestrian bridge was an FIU project, which means the university and its contractors are responsible for reviewing plans, permits, and inspections. The university says it followed all processes and procedures. FIU's president on Thursday confirmed that there were tests conducted on the bridge. I have not spoken directly with Monia Construction, but I'm satisfied that the testing that was occurring was, cons was consistent with best practice. Miami-based family business Munia Construction Management partnered with Fig Bridge Engineering and a secondary engineering firm, Lewis Berger Group. We followed all processes, competitive bidding, two-phase process, an independent engineering company uh, that uh, has, is fully certified by the state that was recommended to us by FDOT. FDOT, the Florida Department of Transportation, for its part, is distancing itself from the bridge construction. Fernandez Rendell says her office is looking for information from the public to help them get as many answers as possible. And for more on the bridge collapse, get the free CBS4 News app. It's easy to find. Just go to your app store and search for CBS Local, download that, and then scroll down and click on Miami.